What's up guys, the Bobcat here, and welcome back to Neo. Last time, we completed the Silent Crow, and I believe, Coroda's uh, Determination as well. And this time, we're going to be doing The Watchers in Darkness. Or The Watcher in Darkness. However, before we do that, I recently learned that I was a complete idiot. Who'd have thought? But, in here, at the armory, or the blacksmith I suppose it is, there is a thing you can do that I never realised. It's called Soul Match. I never read what it said. Increase the level of your equipment. So all this time I've been going out and making making new pieces of equipment. Like new swords and the like. But it turns out I literally could have just been here doing this. And just finding a better version. So you don't have anything better or is this weapon freshly made? No, I've got something better. Got a 15 there. If I was to fuse those two together, well, as you can see, the attack goes up. So, don't I feel like a fool? Oh, boy. I have no idea how silly I feel because of that. Also, I would like to see if I can squeeze out a better version of these swords. It doesn't like I can, sadly. Because they're the Master Swordsman set, these two swords, and I would like to actually equip that set. It's pretty nice. Ski, skill key reduction. And our current armor, at least the current heavy stuff we're wearing, is the Raging Bull set, which gives us. Well, it gives us life, actually, so it's not as bad as I thought. I thought it gave us stuff to do with spears. But anyway. So, I'm going to be on the lookout for some better pieces of equipment. And I'm not going to be so quick to melt everything down like I have been. <laughs> it turns out it's really simple and easy to level them up. Unfortunately, it is expensive. And on my other character, as I was doing it, I ended up going through millions worth of gold in a few seconds without even realising. Where Dark Forces gather. I just did this one as well on my other character. Don't want to do that again. But anyway, let's go to the Watcher in Darkness. A conclave of wicked omni mages. Actually, before we do, I nearly forgot to do this again. Do I have bullets? Also, I should buy this stuff up while I'm here. Hmm. Okay, do I have bullets? Oh, I can have more. There we go. Feels better. Okay, try this again. A conclave of wicked omni mages have taken up residence in a cavern far from human habitation. And hired uh, Saika mercenaries. That's the guy with the we fought on the Burning Castle mission. Sir Anjin, I want you to defeat the mercenaries and smash the conclave. The warriors of Saika disappear like mist, dis dispersed like the mist after the conquest of Key Province, and are not the terrible force they once were. But it is never wise to underestimate a man with firearms. Be on your guard. This mission, it's not as bad actually. And even the missions after this one aren't that bad either. I've done the next main mission in the next region and the side mission there as well. At least one side mission. And they're not that bad. In fact, I've done... Did I do two main missions in the next region? I actually don't remember. But anyway. Let us level up skill. I'd like to get that up to 15 or 20 ideally. Give us a nice boost to our damage on our weapon. Okay, see if I remember my, remember my way around. I haven't been here in a while. I know there's two dudes up here. No, you don't. Oh, too soon. There we go. Man, this character just feels so much more powerful than my other one. I don't know what it is. Oh, parody's jump. No, the character can't kill those guys in one hit. Though it is coming close. I think it might just be due to me being a bit more focused with the level ups on this character. Whereas on my other character, I'm a bit more sporadic. What was. I don't remember this place. 
I really don't remember this passageway. I must have never gone down here. Oh dear. I got a bit overzealous there. There we go. We got the lightning on it though. Oh, it caught me. Thought I managed to dodge it. I haven't played in a few hours, so I'm a little rusty again already. Well, that was a bit close for comfort. Top two health potions. Elixirs. Yeah, I never came up here. Huh. Is there anything worthwhile up here? Please don't collapse. Please don't collapse. No, don't see anything. There's that guy down there, but I know how to get to that location anyway. Actually, I don't know how to get to that location. I think we have to drop down. Well, I'm not interested in falling down. There's nothing down there. I collected all the Kodamas in this mission already, so... Clearly me going down that passageway is meaningless. However... Oh. Ah, I've got the him. I love doing that, parrying the Kurosigama. Ouch. You know what? Let's not play games with this guy. Because I remember him having some really unpleasant... Smithing text? I didn't know those guys could drop smithing texts. I didn't know any enemies could drop a smithing text. Did I not get that last time, or did I get it and just ignore it? I'm confused. Well, whatever. Okay. Rifle. Is it our best rifle? Looks like it. Okay, this lot. So, we're going to kill this guy first because he's got a hand cannon. Oh, I've missed him. Well, didn't miss him, but didn't get the kill. This guy fortunately likes to walk all the way up here. Silly of him, but you know. Why does this character feel so much more powerful than my other one? Like, this character just genuinely feels stronger. Ooh, a raven wing a raven wing rifle. Yes, please. Uh Range Bullseye bonus. That is quite nice, his ranged bullseye. Well, oh. Ah, this guy. When I came through here first time, he killed me. I was playing very sloppy. Oh. Do that. I like the lightning effect, obviously. Keeping him... Nice and slowed. There we go. Nicely done. Now then, there's a couple of unique enemies on this mission that we've got to watch out for. Because they are unpleasant. There's one of them actually around the corner. We could have seen it actually, but I didn't look at it. Oh, then where is it? There's a mage, but that's not what we're after. It should come floating around there. I guess we'll kill this guy first. Sizo, the entertainer. We know him. We met him all the way back at the second mission. Oh, he's got a gun this time. Too soon. Too soon. Okay, he's actually beating me up quite badly. Ouch. Jump off the edge. I'm glad he didn't do a plunging. Come on. There we go. Parry and Kurisagamas. Especially ones wielded by phantoms. Not so simple. Oh, we got him. Pop another talisman. Heal up a bit from that. Now then, has it appeared? Oh, come on, I know it's here. I've seen it. Where is it? There it is. It's that thing. Doesn't look particularly intimidating. 
Those things spawn. Oh, he hit me. Those things spawn one eyed onies. So, yeah, we really don't want to be triggering them. Oh, it looks like he gave me a damage debuff. How'd that work out for you? I thought he was giving me a slow. But regardless, we got him. Shinobi box. Not particularly useful for us, but nice to have. Eh, we'll blow his head off. No, no, we won't. He's walking. I was worried about him seeing me opening the chest, but I guess we're fine. Uh, that's the correct way to go. Oh, that was one of the talismans. I thought something felt off about that area. I forget you can't do four hit combos on these guys. And dodge their fists afterwards. You just can't do it. Demon horns though. Don't know what we use demon horns for, but whatever, we're getting them. Ah, this place. Can we kill him in one hit? Excellent. Now then. No, the one is actually one below us as well. I'm really tempted to do a plunging attack onto it, but I'm actually concerned it might spawn before I get the plunging off. He's going to turn around. Yep. Oh, I nailed it. Maybe we're doing better against these guys on this mission because we have higher skill. So I'm pretty sure on my other character I didn't have as high a skill. Oh yeah, this room. As I stated in the last part though, we're actually, well, we're indoors on this mission, so... The frame rate is substantially more stable. Do you, uh, do you need a moment there, mate? What's going on? Yeah, no thanks. You can leave that poor skeleton alone. Oh, a soul stone. Okay. So there is an item over there. No idea what it is because I never got it. But I could always go and try and get it if we wanted to. Let's see how much time we have. I'm planning on making this side mission a full part. So we should have plenty of time. It's not that long. I almost forgot where I was going then. There we go, go this way. Let's be risky and stupid and try and do this. Oh, it worked. Excellent. Great, don't have to fight a one-eyed only now. Suzuki the Hedgehog. Nailed it. I love getting that. I don't know what that... It's a parry, isn't it, that? I'm not sure if there is any sort of passive that boosts damage on that ability. Hmm. Don't think there is. Okay. I think this is just... Yeah, it's just here. So, this room, I believe, leads to like a study. Yeah, with two mages in it. Excellent. Oh. Came out a bit quick. Again. You know what's back off a second? Oh, he hit me. I don't know what he hit me with. I don't know what that icon means, but whatever. Uh, nothing actually in this room, is there? So. Uh, one, another one I don't need, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, 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 he still clipped me. I'm actually going to back off and heal because he did more than half my hit points worth of damage. There we go. Chop his legs off. Oh, I missed his head. Oh, well. What was through here? Well, 
That's what we'll do here. We're only 15 minutes in as well. As I said, this mission isn't very long. Even though it has Kodama associated with it. Someone heard me? Ooh. Usually the uh, spirit icon lights up when someone's seen you. Or is trying to engage in combat. But I guess we were far enough away that it didn't matter. Oh. Okay. Oh, what the? Looks like he did come down after all. Oh dear. Oh god. You are messing me up. It's enough out of you. Oh god, the. These two at once. He's also gonna. There we go. He's gonna... The electricity's gonna wear off on him. Oh, I'm dead. I can't believe that guy followed me all the way down. That's actually really irritating. I'm gonna have to pay more attention. Last time it didn't. So I was like, oh, this time will be fine. But I guess I delayed it for a few seconds. Well, one or two seconds at the most to look at the dude. Ugh. Really puts you in a foul mood when stuff like that happens. Just something so stupid as an enemy following you down. Or getting clipped by attacks you really shouldn't be hit by. Or the key pulse not working because you key pulsed a second too early. The good thing about the status is we're not actually trying to do anything with this key. So it's actually fine to leave the key pulls on the floor. There we go. See, the guy didn't follow us down this time. Again, it must be because I delayed by half a second to to look at the uh, guy following us to see who was actually following us. Well, regardless. Now, if we wanted, we could actually do the boss now. Because the boss is just in this building. So we just go through the front doors and say hello. However, I want to fight the other sub-boss, I guess, first, because the last Kodama's next to him. So, we'll go and do that first. It is an unpleasant fight. It's also the fight where I learned how great electricity was. It's not the right way, it's this way. There's also a shrine over here as well. So that's nice. We should have enough to level up as well. And we'll get more skill, more damage. 18 minutes in, so we've got plenty of time. Yeah, these poison rocks. Oh dear, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to grab another rock before we spawned him. Only need three swings. There we go. Oh, he caught me and bit my face off. How nice of him. Camera is not helping me right now. Oh, that sweep. Such a wide range on it. Oh, he hit his horns. Hey, we got the build-up. Excellent. I thought we hadn't got it then. Oh, come on. How was that not a pulse? It even made the noise of being a pulse. I don't know what it is about these twin blades, but sometimes they do not like to pulse properly. Yeah, whatever. We got him. Not the smoothest engagement, but it's done. I don't know what the item is up there. Up there, where is it? Well, it's up there somewhere. But I'm not interested in going and getting it. Again, this is only a side mission. Anything we get, we can 
easily get it at a later date. Now that I've realised soul matching is a thing, that'll be fine. That makes it much easier as well to deal with equipment wise. Sasuke the ladder. Ugh. Sa Sasuke the ladder performer. Remember him? Another mission two guy. Don't know how I missed that first parry. There we go. Lost dance. Actually, I don't know if he was lost dancing. It seemed like he was. Might have been mid dance. Oh, I really hate it when they do that. When you go for the guard break and they dodge the the dash around you do, so you can't get the stagger on them. Also, this torch you can't break. Well, that's everything. 20 minutes in. So let's go and knock out the boss. Hopefully we can do it in one go. And then it's on to main missions. And I may do some stuff with equipment off camera as well. Should really level up the stamina some more, actually. Anyway, got a little bit of dialogue here. Won't be holding back like you were last time. Ah, I love doing that. Okay. Can I do that again? I'll fine. I'll just do this again. Don't want to get caught by that. He actually has the uh, electricity effect on him. Well, I don't like him being in the corner for obvious reasons. But there we go. Nice and easy. Drop all that stuff. どうやらあんたも見えるようだね。俺も親父に押し付けられた力だ。この八田ガラス。あんたのことも気に入ったみたいだ。俺たち最下は松郎は抜いちぞ。あんたとはまた会いそうな気がするよ。We got Yatagarasu and the Grotto Key. Enough, he disappears into the roof. Got a little bit more dialogue here. Doesn't exactly sound like a threatening opponent. It's just one Omni Mage. Oh. Oh, come on. Well, getting beat up by him. Last time I got him down in one shot, I did that. I kind of feel sorry because apparently this dude's just an old dude, but he's dead now. Mm. But yeah, it looks like I was wrong about the Yatagarasu. It's not a three footed crow, it's a three eyed crow. Even though it looks like a three footed crow, but. And wasn't it mentioned it had three feet? Yeah, whatever. Three eyes is, is its important feature. So that's going to be it for this part, as I said. Just one side mission. Excellent. You have plucked them out before they root. For the Yeah, you have plucked them out by the root. We can but hope they will be more pliant now. If we only may just suffer for this, it is no no one's fault but our own. My sincere gra my sincerest gratitude. Ugh, I cannot read. Hey, rich samurai. Excellent. Yeah, now we have a bunch of off. I wonder if I can see I really want to equip the where is it? Is it further down? I really want to equip this but I want it to have lightning on it 
It's also got mid mid stands damage, which is very useful. But yeah, I really want it to have lightning on it, but I don't think you can do that. What's that? I do? What's that icon mean? I've seen that icon before somewhere. I think it's from the what do you call it? Uh, yes, please. I would like that one. I think it's something to do with um, saw matching. In fact, let's have a look. New stuff to forge. Oops. It's that mask, isn't it? Yeah, Black Fox mask. Uh, before we do that, actually. Oh. Press back one too many times. Try this again. Uh, rec not request. It's I want to know more. Saw matching. Yeah. Ah. Ah, okay. That's what that means. I should look out for that in future. So, if we have something with that icon on it. So, let's say we want... I don't know. We'll take our current weapon. And we use this one as its base. As the material. Then that means that brick should be able to be inherited. Interesting. Also, I would like... Actually, that's the way around I want it, isn't it? Hmm. That wouldn't be bad. But again, it's missing the, the lightning. I don't know how to put... If you, Even if you can put effects on weapons. Can I forge that set? I know I'm wasting time, I apologise. I'll deal with any sort of this stuff off camera. But regardless, I hope you all have enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.